Hey, what's up everybody? Today's the day we're finally going to be chiseling up this big holster rock that has this really beautiful geode agate inside it. We're also going to be cutting it up because I've decided to turn this into a really beautiful display piece. we got to head on to the garage to work on it though, but before we do, let me show you what we have planned for this. So here she is, the beautiful Lake Superior agate geode in this 106 pound host rock that I hold home. We're going to be chiseling it down and hopefully we can turn it into a display piece. I'm hoping for something about this big with a flat back or a flat bottom and keeping this natural. And the reason why I'm going to keep this agate in the holster rock is because one of you commented on the video where I found this saying if you cut it out, chisel it out, it's just going to be another agate. And I got a lot of those. But if you leave it in the holster rock for a nice display piece, it has a good story. So that's what we're going to do. And I figured if I ever want to, I can chisel it out someday. But we're going to be making that beautiful display piece. So again, hopefully about this big. Let's head out in the garage, start working on this thing. Yeah, it's a little cold out here. It was about 10 degrees Fahrenheit when we came up, but the heaters got it up to about 25. I'll let it run while I'm chiseling here. We got the hammer and the chisel. Hopefully both of these can withstand what we're going to do to this thing. Let's get started. So good news is this is really coming apart. Bad news is, is I just knelt on this. I look down and this little bit of agate geode with looks like amethyst was uh, right under my kneecap. I peeked over, looked at the geode here, and I thought I was, I know it's a lot of, you know, compression going on in this thing. But I leaned over and I looked right here and that's loose. This whole piece is loose right here. The whole thing is just coming apart. I don't know if we're going to be able to save this bottom piece right here. We might lose that. And uh, I'm a little nervous. I don't want to lose the geode or the display piece, but I mean, look at that. There's just fractures all over this thing. Yeah, that was gonna come out anyway. You can see a fracture running right here. Oh, sad. That's amethyst. Ah, that was my fear. What do you do with a 106 pound host rock with a geode agate in there, you know? You can see the fractures running right here. All the way up and probably all the way through through these sides right here. Oh, well, let me think about this for a minute and then I'll decide what to do. Well, folks, after a <laughs> very long time trying to figure out what to do with this, we got three options. I can leave it as is, not very nice display piece that I don't like at all. That is really awkward and Still too big to really put anywhere. Option two, we can cut this piece because my saw should be able to cut that and have again a very awkward display piece that this doesn't sit like that facing out so you could see it because my saw won't be able to cut 
that piece. That's too big. And option three is to move forward and try to follow fracture lines kind of back here. There's some underneath here, a couple here. There's one right here. Try to get some of this back piece off. And if we can, we can go back to option two, which is more saw work, turning it into the display that I envisioned in my head. But the huge issue is right here where my thumb is. That's a fracture that runs up into the geode. It looks loose on this side, but it goes right up into it. You can see it right in between the bands and into the amethyst right there. So my fear is uh, more chiseling jostles this and this whole piece because there's a fracture that runs up here as well. It's going to crack this whole piece off and we'll have two halves. That's my fear. I do not know what to do. I'm kind of leaning towards just going for it. I mean, we've already come this far. We've already broke a piece off. It's, I mean, right now I'm not able to turn it into a display piece that I'm happy with, so might as well go for it, right? Chances are not in our favor. We're probably gonna ruin this. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. <laughs> so let's keep chiseling. banging away there I was hearing kind of a more muffled you know clack clack and I looked and I could see more crystals falling out and I looked and right in here right along my finger right there and right there all the way down is a big fracture running right through the middle of the geode I don't think there is any more hope that this whole thing is coming out together. So I'm a little bummed out right now, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but as I went to turn my heater off, I had an idea. If we can get this piece off like that and this piece off and somehow cut it, we can see what's going in inside and we can make two display pieces that can sit next to each other and kind of through this fracturing connect and see what's going on, on the inside we can try to save it we can still try to save it as a display piece but yeah this fracture right here is just crazy so uh I'm, i'll yeah we'll just keep going here i'm probably going to separate this intentionally from the back For as crummy as a situation as uh, that was, this broke off very well. And these are the first time, this is the first time these bands have ever been seen by anyone ever. They've been inside host rock forever. So that is that, that's that side. That's how deep it runs. I was hoping it could come back further, but that's that. And then uh, there's uh, this piece right here. Obviously the same. So I don't see any loose fractures around this. So 
somehow I gotta work this stone down so that these two can sit next to each other like so <laughs> without breaking this one out. All right, so what I gotta do is take this much of this bottom off. And I don't feel comfortable doing it with the chisel because it could fracture up and leave this piece completely useless. So what I'm gonna try to do is, and I'll uh, use Scoopy here as a bit of a guiding stick. Try to basically cut that down right there. And then we'll make the bottoms as flat as we possibly can so that those two display pieces can sit next to each other or be separated to see the inside. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So let me get my saw set up. We'll get to cutting. Well, I've only thrown up a few times and as I keep grabbing this, more pieces keep falling off. So I'm not nervous at all, but you can see the lines here. We're gonna basically cut it and we're gonna have to rotate it, it's too big. So it's gonna be kind of a tricky cut on our saw. We're gonna get very wet because I'm gonna have to take the splash guard all the way off. And, uh, <sighs> at least, worst case scenario, we have one nice display piece, okay? Silver linings, folks. One nice display piece. So, woo! We'll uh, turn this on. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. So I have cut so many, so many agates and rocks on this amazing saw. But I gotta say, this is one of the most difficult cuts and hands down the most stressful cuts. I got a really clean cut with turning it on there. Just a little bit of a weird overlap there, but let's see uh, where it's sitting as far as display piece lay pieces and how they may sit together and how much more we need to come down. So we still got a little ways to come down, but at least I have a better idea of where to go and uh, it'll be a lot easier to cut through that one. So we'll do some more lines with a Sharpie and uh, hopefully it'll be the last piece we cut. not what I wanted to happen. <laughs> it was so close to connecting the two cut marks. And then I just feel this piece come loose in my hand. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is not what I wanted to happen. What a bummer. Dang it. Fractures everywhere inside this. Oh my goodness gracious. Shwell, I'm gonna finish cutting what I started. fits together oh man this is nuts this is not how I expected this whole thing to play out there and that goes there three pieces that's what we're left with but all the bottoms are pretty flat so I'm pretty happy with that that worked out 
I am gonna get all this cleaned up and we're gonna head inside and I'll tell you what I think about all this. <laughs> we are back inside and it's actually been a couple days. I had to clear my head after that absolute train wreck. <laughs> but it's so funny. The comedic timing with the the the, the dump truck. <laughs> How'd your chiseling video go? Cue the dump truck. <laughs> I think I finally figured out how to display this piece in a way that we can save it and I think it looks pretty cool. Let me show you <laughs> what I got planned. So here are all the pieces and I got some different footies to put on the bottom and I got a pretty good idea what I'm going to do with it to make it look nice but before we do that let me show you these crystals and the bands a little closer up. So one of the first pads I'm going to put on is this guy right here. I'm just going to put a single clear one on the bottom of this. And uh, these are pretty easy. They just, you know, pull off and stick. And this is like a non-slip kind of pad. For this one, I'm just going to do the same thing. These clear ones. I'm just going to put them in a few random spots. It's all flat, so... should set very well in theory so this bigger one's a little more awkward it's got this kind of natural state on the bottom and then it jots down here which is why we have these bigger pads so I'm gonna put a couple of the clear ones on here and then a few of the thicker ones just to make it sit even that matches those So that is our geodega display piece. I know it's not exactly how I envisioned it and probably not how a lot of you had hoped it would have went, but it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> it's funny how like every step of the way there's just catastrophic fractures and just uh, is an absolute train wreck. But it is what it is. And like I've always said, it's the cost of exploration. You win some, you lose some, and it, it's kind of like a, a little bit of a loss, but we kind of turn it around and I like the way that it looks right now on the display so I'm happy with that and I know I no longer have my 106 pound host truck with a geodega in it but I still have my 122 pounds stromatolite so I'm happy with that if I could go back and do anything differently with this whole project I would do everything the exact same because I learned a good lesson sometimes it's okay to just leave things and uh, even though I enjoy taking a risk now and then uh, it definitely did not go the way that I had planned, but again, is what it is, and I had a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.